my name is Faye Arnell and I work in the Department of Youth as a policy officer. I am privileged to be the coordinator of the 25th anniversary of the Business Outreach and Placement Program. This program was incorporated by the then sitting commissioner, Mr. Lenny Priest, back in 1998, and it became officially the Business Outreach and Placement Program. I, however, have a different experience because back in 1995, as far back as 1995, can be even earlier, government also had this same program uh, in an informal manner, perhaps, that was taking students to work in the summer vacation. So our program, we cater to students who are 16 to 24 years old uh, and who are in high school, in pre-exam or exam class. And the idea is to give them on-the-job training in the world of work. So this year, as we always do with our program, every year we try to improve on the quality, on the execution of this program. So this year we have made a very good collaboration um, with HPS Consulting and with a wonderful team who will be helping us to execute uh, this program this year by giving assignments. We have never done that before. And also as an addition to the BOP, we saw it fit in order to get our students prepared for the present day, we saw it fit to also coordinate a youth entrepreneurship program. We did that in 2022 for the first, and this year with credits, that was an excellent uh, execution. And this year we will continue with it as well uh, and offer life skills training to our youth. So in addition to BOP, our students can learn to become an entrepreneur, our students can become certified in first aid, CPR, AED training, thanks to the WIMS organization. And at the end of the day, we offer a fabulous experience with an opportunity to learn and earn. How do I go through life and become the best version of me? But the thing is, the world is designed waiting on you to flourish so you can help somebody. All of us in this room, a purpose fill. We are born for a reason, something that only you can achieve. With that said, if you don't become the best version of you to do exactly what you're born to do, there will be a big gap in the world. Do you believe me? I know so. If you don't become the doctor that you're supposed to be, some patients will die because you did not do it. If you don't become the architect, or whatever it is that you have to become, a speaker like me today, somebody will be missing you. So it is very important that you become who you're supposed to be. Now the question is, how do I become the best of me when everything in my life is going wrong? How do I do that? Can anyone help me? Very quickly. How can I rise above all the storms, all the problems? How can I do that? So the facts about difficult situation is common. All of us have it at one point at a time. It does not last forever. Did you hear that one? It does not last forever. It comes and go. But a difficult this, this situation will define who you will become. Like I said, Einstein said earlier in my first slide, slide it's in that difficult situation we will find opportunity that will make you become the best person that you can ever be. If you can learn through that pain, if you can learn through it, understand the lesson and become a better person. Okay, so my name is Diana Pearl Hendrickson Fleming, also known as Pearl Hendrickson. Um, I'm part of the Simartin Entrepreneurship Devel Development Center, and we are actually just in support of the youth department in assisting with specific tasks assigned to us for the BOP, the Business Outreach and Placement Program. So, what we're gonna be helping them do, um, uh, online portal has been created so that the youngsters can actually um, be assigned to certain tasks that they would then have to upload on that portal. And in our presentation today, Monique Doulom was explaining them how to do it and why it was important for it to be get done, seeing that 
um, they did not get a training before the placement of the um, this time in the job. So that, in a nutshell, is what the online portal is about, and our support extends all the way with assisting the youth department when it comes to these placements in jobs of our youngsters of St. Martin. My name is Ed Monique. I'm the marketing director at SCDC, St. Martin's Entrepreneurship Development Center. And it was an amazing opportunity to be here today to teach all the BOP students about the Google interface and the platform we will be using for the program. So the platform allows students to um, upload their assignments and each week they will be given a specific assignment to be uploaded to our platform and this will allow them to communicate, work easily and structure their assignments in due time. So using this, BOP will definitely reach um, their outreach goal. My name is Ashley York and I'm doing my second year of BOP. My first year I was in Romy doing data entry and everything putting in permits, filing boxes. And now for my second year, I already started working, but I was helping with the BOP program, helping everyone get interviews and everything. And I'm looking forward to get more knowledge and do better in the work industry. Hi everyone, my name is Cicely. This is my second time doing the BOP. It was a wonderful experience experience that's why i'm back um i worked last year at the wixu this year i got an interview by the civil registry department i am super excited to see what's in stock for me um this year i am trying to look for a permanent job and i'm just excited to see what the future has in hold for me. Thank you very much.